It seems very clear that the children of Israel and the Egyptians saw the battle between Pharaoh on one hand and God, Adonai, on the other as a battle between two gods. When Moshe and Aaron first come to Pharaoh and say, let my people go, Pharaoh says, who is this God that I should listen to God? I don't recognize God and I will not send Israel out of the land. Later, after the plague of the frogs, Pharaoh says, I will send the nation to worship, but he quickly recants and takes that back. After the plague of insects, Pharaoh says, you can worship God. You can worship your God, but you have to do it ba'aretz, in my land. And he says at the end, he says, but you may not go too far away. Don't, let, don't walk too far, because he knows that if the children of Israel leave Egypt, they probably will not come back. After the plague of hail, Pharaoh says, this time I have sinned, and God is correct, God is right. It is I and my nation who are evil and who are the sinners. But again, Pharaoh doesn't send the people out. After the plague of locusts, Pharaoh says, who do you want to send? Who do you want to go? Moshe and Aaron says, everybody has to come with us. Our children, our women, our cattle, our sheep, everybody must come. Pharaoh says, that's not what you mean. What you mean is, go just your men, just the males, because this is what you really want. To bring an end to the darkness, the plague of darkness, Pharaoh says, you may all go, even your children, even the women, but you must leave your cattle and your sheep here. Moshe and Aaron turn that, back, turn that down as well. Finally, after the firstborn are slain, Pharaoh says, everybody can go out. You can leave the land. Take your children, take your women, take your cattle, take your sheep. Worship as you please, and also, in the end, bless me. Pharaoh comes to the realization that although he may still perceive himself as a god, there's a god that's bigger than he, and he asks for our god's blessing.